Okay, here we go. Oh no. <laughs> It's lagging. And it says your network failed. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, now it's working. Now it's working. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to go to the PowerPoint. I know, but we have to show our faces first, right? Uh, yeah. It says there's five attendees. Six. Okay. It says, yeah. it says live right now. Okay. I think we can start. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull up the PowerPoint. Welcome to everyone that could make it to our back to school night for fifth grade. Uh, bear with me as I try to figure out how to do this. Okay, it's coming. Okay, welcome to our fifth grade back to school night presentation. First thing we're going to do families is meet your teachers. In fifth grade, we have Ms. Largis, Ms. Markham, Mrs. Lloyd, Mrs. Budzik, Ms. Buchanan, Mrs. Reynolds, Mrs. Policelli, Ms. Mascari, and Mrs. Downs. Hi, everybody. My name is Miss Morcom, and I am one of the fifth grade teachers at William Pega. This is my fifth year teaching um, at this school. I used to teach writing, science, and social studies for my first four years, and this year I teach math, science, and social studies. Um, growing up, I used to play soccer, basketball, cross country, and I also did competitive swimming. I really love working out, um, and I do some competitions with my gym. Um, I also enjoy reading. My favorite series right now is Harry Potter. Um, I went to Towson University for my bachelor's and LaSalle University for my master's degree. I have two cats named Max, the orange one, and Oliver, the white one. Um, and I have one nephew named Noah John, who's in the middle picture, and another nephew on the way. Good evening, families. My name is Jenny Largis. This is my second year of teaching fifth grade at William Peka, and I teach reading, writing, and spelling, word work. So um, I like to try to make connections with my kids as much as possible, so I shared with them some fun facts. So my brother and I um, were both adopted. Um, I love roller coasters, and so I try to go on them every year to celebrate my birthday especially. I love Oreos, and I love to sing. So if you participate in any of the sessions with your children, you may or may not hear me sing a little bit. Um, I have gotten to do quite a few um, fun things with my singing. And if you've ever seen any shows at Pumpkin Theater, Petrucci's Dinner Theater, Burn Bray, any of those local theaters, you might have seen me on stage. So thank you for being here. Hi everybody, I'm Miss Mascari. This is my 12th year at William Peka and my ninth year as a fifth grade teacher here. That first picture on uh, the right of my words is me when I was in fifth grade. This year I am teaching math, which is my absolute favorite subject to teach. 
I received my bachelor's degree from Notre Dame University and my master's equivalency from LaSalle University. I have three children, Danielle, Richie, and Angela, who are the pictures in the middle, and one seven-year-old grandson named Jamie. I have a dog who is a Bichon Yorkie mix named Rue. I like to read, play homescapes, and watch Grey's Anatomy. Like Mrs. Largest, I like to sing. I love to sing, although I'm not good at it. Back up. I'm not done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Ms. Mascari. I'm advancing the slides because there's a lag. I'm sorry. And so I was trying okay. to prepare for so the next So anyway, one. families, if you hear not very good singing coming from your child's computer, that will be me, but I like to make it fun. And I also like to talk in accents, so it's not a stranger, it's just me being silly. <laughs> Hi families, um, this is Mrs. Reynolds. This is my ninth year of teaching um, and my fifth year at William Peca. The last four years I have taught fourth grade and I was so excited to have the opportunity to come and teach fifth grade this year. So I had some questions um, for some of my students who were just wondering why they had me again, that's why. Um, I received my bachelor's degree from Susquehanna University and I'm currently going for my master's from Towson University. Um, I have an awesome daughter named Sophia. She is two. We have two cats and a dog. Um, and I told my students I'm sure that they will see them in our meetings. I'm sure some of you may have seen them in the meetings. Um, I like to go to the beach, run, travel, and my husband and I are both from Pennsylvania, so we go back there quite often to see our families. Hello, I'm Mrs. Policelli. Um, This is my 15th year of teaching and for the last five, four years, and this is my fifth year at William Peca. Um, I received my bachelor's degree uh, from Pace University and my master's degree in instructional technology from Drury University. Um, I'm married to my husband, Will, and we have two children, Izzy and Owen. Izzy is a nurse in St. Louis, and Owen is a freshman in college at Hood College. Um, I have four dogs and they make many appearances during our lessons. Um, ben in the middle, the black and white one. Zoe is the one with the bows. Ollie is the other black and white one who's on the far right there. And then Khaleesi, named after a Game of Thrones character. She's the one there at the bottom of the steps. Um, so that's a little bit about me. Thank you for coming. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Lloyd. Um, I'm one of the special educators assigned to fifth grade. This is my eighth year teaching at William Peca. I've been in fifth grade for the past seven years. Um, I'm married and I have a daughter named Charlie. She's eight months old in that bottom picture. Um, I have a dog named Ellie and a cat named Mr. Nubs. I enjoy, to wa I enjoy watching football. I'm a big Ravens fan. I enjoy spending time with my family. I received my bachelor's degree at Towson University and my master's degree at LaSalle University. Um, but thank you for joining us tonight and we're excited to work with your students this year. Hi families, my name is Miss Downs. This is my six year teaching at William Peca Elementary. Um, I do reading, writing and math. Um, I am married with two amazing children. I have a daughter, Harper, who is two, and my son, Maverick, uh, actually turned four months old yesterday, so that's old. <laughs> um, I have two animals, a dog named Marley and a cat, Ringo. I enjoy spending time with my family, going to the beach, um, exercising, anything that has to do with being outside, traveling, and I also enjoy uh, the Ravens watching football. Just some random facts. My favorite color is teal. I absolutely love iced coffee and um, ice cream. That's my weakness. And I have a sister. I received my bachelor's dual degree at Towson University and my master's at LaSalle University. And I'm really excited to work with all of your students this year. Next, we have Mrs. Budzik. I'm going to share. Go ahead. I got to miss Workham. <laughs> I had to unmute myself. 
Mrs. Budzik is one of our paraeducators that is going to be working, so you may have seen her or heard her voice working with your student um, so far this year. She is a paraeducator, like I said, and this is her 15th year working at William Pekka, and she has only worked at William Pekka. Um, she has one son named David, and he's 22 years old in the light of her life. Um, he's currently in college studying criminal justice and one day hopes to work at the FBI. She has five cats, Marbles, Blackjack, and Buddy are her indoor cats. And then she takes care of Brown Brown and Socks, they're two strays. Um, she is an only child. She loves the color purple and iced coffee, and she loves sloths. All right, so Miss Buchanan, she is a paraeducator at our school. She has been with us for 12 years. She is a graduate of Harford Community College and she is attending Notre Dame of Maryland University. She loves to ride horses and started at a very young age on a farm. She is a volunteer at Abington Fire Company for eight years as a chairman of fire prevention. I am not or sorry, she is the oldest of two sisters. Uh, her middle sister and she has a middle sister and a youngest sister. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let me go back. I was trying to open that so you could see. It. I know. OK, go ahead. I can't open it. Uh, she has a son named Regis and she absolutely adores him. I know that uh, he graduated from UMBC with a bachelor's degree in health administration and policy. She um, was the Black Youth Action Queen for Hartford County in 1981. Woo, go Miss Buchanan. My, or her favorite foods are crabs and seafood and she enjoys eating her son's cooking. Lucky lady. Her favorite color is pink and she loves to travel to different states and I know she also enjoys traveling on cruises and laying out on the beach. Okay, so some uh, resources for you as families. Mrs. Felty is our guidance counselor. Um, her office hours are listed there. They are 8.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. Um, and she also has her email available if you would ever need to get in contact with her. I'm gonna leave that there for a minute in case somebody wants to copy that down. Okay, sounds good. And go. So some expected behaviors of your fifth grader. Um, these are the same behaviors we would expect if we were in person. We are now just virtual and they still apply. Um, we expect that they respect um, ourselves, others, and property. Um, and our core values in fifth grade are honesty, integrity, perseverance, responsibility, and respect. So next we're going to be um, talking about the curriculum and some different classes that your fifth grader will have this coming year. Um, there are many goals that we have for our students this year and we know that there are many goals they have for themselves. Um, some goals we are working towards with them are for them to be responsible, independent, and curious students. And all of our curriculum does follow the Maryland College and Career Ready standards. Reading, writing, and word work will be using the Lucy Calkins units of study, and we will also be focusing on language this year to include things like synonyms, antonyms, figurative language, and homophones. Uh, something different this quarter that has been, um, that is new is that we will not have spelling tests like we've had in the past. Okay, math, we use the Envision Mathematics uh, for our curriculum, which is the same as we used last year. Envision Math is organized into topics. The first topic that we are doing this year focuses on fluently multiplying multi-digit whole numbers. We will also be getting into division, multi-digit division, fractions, decimals, and place value. And just so you are aware, 
for the first quarter of school, there will be no math homework. OK, so next we have science. We have five science units this year, and they are all the same as last year as well for fifth grade. Um, we have environmental stewardship, which is our unit where we go to Harford Glen. <clears throat> we have our family life unit. We have elements of life, physical science, and earth and space science this year. Next, we have social studies. Um, social studies is broken down into four different modules, and we are starting with social studies currently and are going to be front loading um, while digitally um, social studies. Our first unit or module that we are in currently is civil war in the United States. Next, we will move on to immigration. After immigration, we will look at the Great Depression with a focus in economics. Um, and we will also get the chance to play the stock market game. And we will finish out social studies um, with civil rights in the United States. Um, and we also have a focus in the Holocaust and Japanese internment camps. <clears throat> OK, our grading system in fifth grade. We use the Home Access Center, and that will allow you to view your child's grades periodically throughout the quarter. Grades will be posted beginning in first quarter this year because we are not having parent-teacher conferences for first quarter. Your student will receive a report card. So check its learning for feedback on assignments regularly. If your child uh, has to post an assignment in its learning, then the teacher will provide feedback. Okay. okay, in order to make honor roll, you, your student must receive all A's and B's and cannot receive any behavior referrals. This is the same as last year when your child was in fourth grade. To get honors excellence, you must have straight A's and have no behavior referrals. Our fifth grade celebrations this year include a moving up ceremony, which would take place at the end of the school year, as well as a fifth grade picnic. We have some new faces in our special areas this year. Um, first, we have Mr. Mongan and Mr. Kessler part time. They are both new to our school. Then we have for music, Mrs. Ritchie, media, Mrs. Amato, and art, we have a new teacher, Mrs. Bowser. So thank you parents for attending this evening. We are definitely looking forward to having a productive and wonderful year. Um, we are now going to open it up to some questions and we will do our best to give you some answers and if we don't know the answers then we will find out for you and then get back to you. Mrs. Policelli, there's a question in the chat. Would you like me to read it? Please. How heavily will the Friday work be considered pertaining to grades? So for example, if my kids are burnt and don't do every Friday's work, how will this affect their grades? Can I answer for math? Um, if you are in Mrs. Policelli's homeroom, Ms. Mascari's homeroom, or Mrs. Reynolds' homeroom, Fridays will um, 
be a time for some quizzes and sometimes tests because there isn't time in our pacing during the week to make time for tests. So Friday work for math is important. Um, uh, this is Miss Morgan. I'm going to speak for social studies as well. Um, if you look at the social studies um, time allotments this year, we only have an hour total for the entire week, so it doesn't get of us a lot of time to cover material. Um, so Fridays are usually a culmination of what we did during the week. Um, so if we're reading articles together on Mondays and Wednesdays, usually they'll answer a question on Fridays. It will never be a lot of work. Um, it will most likely be the same amount of work that you would get in a social studies class during the school week, um, and it should never take more than 15 to 20 minutes to complete. OK, um, are there any more questions? No, they're not. Mrs. Pellicelli. Yes, I was also thinking of another answer to that question. Um, we will keep open all of the work for the entire weekend. So if you're burnt out on Friday or if you um, can't do something at a specific time, it's open the entire weekend. At least for me, I don't close anything. Um, at the close of school days on Fridays, so it will be open Friday through Sunday to complete when you can. OK, well, if we don't have there's, any, there's one more. There's oh. two okay. more questions. OK, go um, ahead. are all assignments due on Friday? So if they didn't finish something during the week, can they still turn it in? Uh, for math, this is Ms. Mascari. For math, I will say uh, yes. Friday of the week uh, 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 that it was taught will be your deadline, except for Friday's work, which, like Ms. Morcom just said, you can do over the weekend, so that would be Monday. The following Monday it would be due. And I would say for reading, that would be consistent as well. Um, I would give until the following Monday of the following week to accept any work that may need to be turned in. There's another question as well. It's about Friday work. Does the work have to be done on the schedule that is laid out? For example, if all of the Friday work um, would be posted in advance, so the kids could do it at their leisure during the day. So I'm guessing we're asking if that's like a possibility. Um, this is Miss Morcom. Um, I know from social studies and science, as of right now, it couldn't be posted in advance. Um, just because I'm teaching them what they need to have for Friday. Um, so if they were to do Friday's work, say on Monday, without doing the lessons on Monday and Wednesday, then they wouldn't have everything that they needed to accurately um, answer what they needed to do. So Ms. Morcom, would it be fair to say that the lessons would be available by 9 a.m. on Friday? Yes. Okay. Yes. Even Thursday afternoon, I'll probably open them up, but just not until yeah. around that time. OK, this is Ms. Mascari um, for math. If Friday's assignment is a test or a quiz, they wouldn't be able to take it ahead of time because they would not have learned the material yet. Um, also, uh, Friday's work might be some remediation for what we already learned the week. If I see that lots of kids are struggling with something, it would be additional work to help them with that, and I wouldn't know about what they are going to need until I actually teach the lessons. So Friday work is not for math, probably going to be posted earl any earlier than Friday morning. OK, are there any other questions? Not at this time. 
OK, then um, I will give it a couple more minutes. I realize that there is a lag. Um, if you have a, another question that you would like us to help you answer, then feel free to write that in the chat now. And if we don't get any further questions, then we'll just close out for the evening. Thank you again for participating. And uh, if you ever have any questions, feel free to contact any of us, um, email, text, whatever it may be, the easiest way to contact your teacher, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. OK, so that's it. There's no other questions coming up. OK. Thank you again for attending. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.